Hi Stampin' Friends, I'm Beth Arnold with Craft with Beth. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Virginia. Thank you for joining me. Today's project is a St. Patrick's Day treat holder using the delicate tag topper punch. The outside is decorated with shamrocks and the inside has mint chocolate candy pieces. I'll show you how quick and easy this treat holder comes together in almost no time. Let's get started. Cut a piece of soft seafoam cardstock that measures five and a half inches by two inches. Place it in the top corner of your Simply Scored scoring tool and score at two and five eighths and two and seven eighths. Two and five eighths and two and seven eighths. Next, punch each end of the treat holder base with the delicate tag topper punch. Fold and burnish your score lines with the foam folder. And put this to the side for now. For the front embellishment, you're going to die cut the smallest layering circles die and the one and a half inch scallop circle die. I'm using basic white cardstock and garden green cardstock. Then you'll cut the three hearts joined together from the sweetheart dies also in garden green cardstock. You can save this green heart outline for another project if you like. Today we'll only be using the three hearts in the center. Today's project uses the special moments stamp set. We're using the good luck image and the sweet conversation stamp set. We'll be using the solid trio of hearts. With garden green ink, stamp good luck three times vertically down the center of your circle. This will provide the backdrop of your shamrock. Next, adhere your circle to the center of the green scallop circle. On my sample, I folded each of the leaves of the shamrock to give the treat holder a little more depth. This is an optional step if you would like to. You can fold the leaves of your shamrock or you can glue them straight down to the cardstock. I bent each of the hearts in half. I just placed my thumb where I wanted to score it and brought the other side up and then finished the fold in half. Next, glue your shamrock leaves to the circle in a shamrock pattern. With your Stampin' Right marker in garden green, draw a stem coming from the center petal of the shamrock. You can set this aside to dry for a few moments. Next, we'll stamp each of the shamrocks on the treat holder base. If you notice that the stamped image is three hearts in a row, but I only wanna use one heart for the shamrock. Instead of mounting the stamp to stamp all three hearts, I'm gonna rotate the stamp and place only one heart on the block, then carefully wrap the other hearts around to the back. That way when I stamp the one heart, I'm not going to get ink on the other hearts. 
I'm gonna stamp the front and the back with shamrocks just randomly across the front. And I'll put three hearts in a row to make the shamrock shape. And I'm gonna rotate this upside down and orient my treat holder upside down so that when I stamp my shamrocks and close up the treat holder, they will be upright instead of upside down. Okay, now that I'm finished with the heart stamp, I'm gonna put it back on the block the usual way. That way when I clean it, I can clean the entire stamp and make sure to get any ink in the middle. Next, draw stems on each of your shamrocks with the garden green stamp and write marker. Next, Adhere the shamrock and the scallop circle to the front of your treat holder. Flip your treat holder upside down and backwards so that we're working with the back of the treat holder. When I flip up the front, this will be upright and then when I bring the treat holder down, the treats will be situated right here in the back. Adhere the chocolate candy pieces to the back of the treat holder using glue dots. Place one chocolate candy piece just above the score line on the back of the treat holder. Then add another glue dot to the second piece and place it in the treat holder base. Close up your treat holder. Cut a piece of gold shimmer ribbon about six inches long. Fold it in half. Close up your treat holder with the folded end of the ribbon. Push the ribbon from the front of the treat holder through the hole and out the back of the treat holder base. Push about halfway through, then open up the loop that you created with the fold of the ribbon and the back of the treat holder. Push the ends of the ribbon through the hole and pull tight. This is called a lark's head knot or also a half hitch knot. Lastly, trim your ribbon ends at an angle. And there you have it, a sweet treat holder to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I hope you give this treat holder a try. The link to the companion blog post that has the supply list and the measurements is listed in the description box below. If you need supplies to make today's project, you can shop my online store 24-7. If you have questions about today's project, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to assist you with your stamping questions. Thanks again for spending time with me today. Until next time, happy stamping.